everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. Many of you have requested how to create chord charts with slashes, and today we're going to talk about the skill that you need to make that happen. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find steady beat. Understanding the steady beat is essential for all musicians, and especially if you're making your own chord charts. So first, let's talk about what is a steady beat. The steady beat is the underlying pulse that drives the music forward. It's the foundation of the song, and it helps musicians stay in time. It is not the rhythm or the melody. So if we were to look at the song Happy Birthday, some people would think that the pulse would be Happy Birthday to you, Happy Birthday to you. But that's not what we're looking for today. That's the rhythm of the song. Okay, that matches the melody. What we're looking for is what you could tap your foot to, nod your head to, something that repeats itself and stays steady. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's the steady beat. My hand stays the same. It doesn't move or get faster or slower. Some people talk about steady beat like your heartbeat. It's just that constant underlying pulse in the music. So if this doesn't come naturally to you, we're going to go through step by step how to find a steady beat in your song and how to put it in your chord chart so that you can see where those slashes go. So the first thing we're going to do, step one, print out your lyrics with the chords of the song that you'd like to do. If you don't know how to do that, we have an entire video showing you step by step how to go on Google, find some chord charts, and how to put it in a Word document so that you can manipulate it and print it out. So if you need to pause, go find that video. We'll put that link in the description for you. So step one, print out your lyrics with the chords. So the song I've got for you guys tonight is Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Now we're gonna do this just as if you were doing it with me. I haven't taken this from my library. I went to Google, I followed the steps, and this is what they gave me. Now this isn't how I would play it, but that's okay. We're gonna go through it and show you how we can manipulate it, how we can add our slashes, and make it something that you're really happy with. So that's step one. Make sure you've got this printed out. And I will put a link to this uh, for our Facebook group. Those of you who are on there, it's totally free to join. I will put this on the Facebook group. And then I'm also going to put the final product so you guys can print it out for this week's lesson. Step number two is we're going to be listening to the song over and over. So especially if this is something new to you, you're not going to want to just jump in and try to find the beat right away. You're going to want to get the song really deep in your head. So I would recommend go to YouTube, or if you have a recording on a CD that you're trying to copy from, listen to that recording three or four times. Really get it in your brain. <laughs> you're not going to be doing anything for this step except listening. You're not tapping your foot, nothing like that. Just listen to the song. Now, I can't do that for you guys right now and share a YouTube song because YouTube doesn't like when we do that. But if you wanted to pause this video and try it yourself before we do it, absolutely. Pause the video. Google on you or go on YouTube, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus, and you'll see lots of different options show up. And for those of you who haven't heard this one, I'm just going to sing verse one. This will be us pretending to listen to it, okay? So it goes, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and to know thus saith the Lord. Okay, so I picked something that's slow medium. It'll be easy for us to count today. Um, but if you're not familiar with it and you, you want to try it, just pause this video and go listen to it. Okay, so that's step two. Listen to the song a lot. Get it in your ear. Step number three is going to be to identify the pulse or the steady beat of the song. Now this is the part that might take some trial and error, especially if it's not something you're familiar with. You're going to continue to listen to the song, so you would repeat it on YouTube or on your CD or your MP3 player, whatever you've got, and you're going to try to find the pulse. So you're going to start tapping your foot or, you know, clapping your hands softly or nodding your head and try to find where a rhythm could be where it repeats itself, okay? So this is where it might take a long time to figure out at the very beginning, but the more you practice it, the more you can find it. So for this one, it would be, tis so sweet. Now I could just start, you know, clapping 
trying to feel like where they call it the strong pulse. There, there's more of like a there's notes where it feels like there's more of like a heaviness to it. That's something you can listen for. Or if you're listening to a track, uh, like where it has like all the instruments, you could listen for the drum as well. That can give you a hint if you can hear that bass drum in the background or the mm, ch, mm, ch, mm, ch. you can use that to help you find the beat as well if it's something totally new for you. So I'm gonna show you the steady beat for this one. Like I said, if you're doing your own song, something you know that we're not doing here, um, it might take you listening to it a few times to find it, and that's okay, that's normal, okay? So for this one, it would be, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his words. Yeah, it's just steady just to rest upon his promise and to know thus saith the lord okay that's one option you might also find if you're doing it yourself tis so sweet to trust in jesus and to take. So see how both of those are correct. They're both steady beat. We're not sure which one of those we would like to pick for our chord chart yet, but either of those would be correct. So that's step number three, find the pulse. Now the next step, you could do it on your computer if you wanted to, um, start writing in the slashes. Um, because of Microsoft Word, and I know there's other programs out there, but this is one that everybody probably has on your computer, it's a bit finicky. You have to space, 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 and then hit a slash. So it can kind of slow you down, especially if you're like, I had it, now I can't remember. So what I would recommend is print out, like I said at, at the beginning, print out this sheet and have it on your desk beside you. So we're still not at the, at the at piano. We're just still thinking and listening. Okay, for step four, we're going to write the beats down in your lyric sheet on the one that you've printed. So I'm gonna take a minute, I'm just gonna switch this so you can see my hands and we're gonna do this together. Okay, so you guys can see I have Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. I've got a bright marker so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna feel that beat and every time I feel the beat, I'm gonna write a line on top of the word. If there's a chord on there, I'm just gonna still write the line. And then if there's no chord, again, just write the line. Don't worry about the chords and where they are. So let's find our beat again. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So you might have to sing that to yourself a few times. Make sure you've got it. Tis. So there was two, two taps on the word tis. So I've put two slashes. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Okay, so let's just make sure that's right. I'll tap it again and follow and make sure I didn't miss any. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good clue that I probably got it right because usually things are in groups of three or groups of four. That would be two groups of four. Let's go next to the next line. And to take him at his word. Okay, so let's see how this one would be. Ready? And, so two taps on and. And to take him at his word. Again, we'll check it. And to take. Ooh, okay, so there's two on take. I missed that. Let's write again. And to take him at. Okay, and I had one on him. It is not correct. So I'm just going to cross that out. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to think you've got it. Okay, let's try it again. And to take him at his word. Okay, I'm happy with that. I feel like I've got it. Also go eight. So that's a good sign <laughs> that it matches. Go to the next one. Ju um, just to rest upon his promise. Okay, let's try it. Just 
to rest. So just has to. It's kind of in the middle of a word there. So I'm just going to put it here. Just to rest. To unrest again. Just to rest upon. So the end of that word. Just to rest upon his promise. Okay, and we'll check it. Just to rest upon his promise. Got it? Okay, eight again. Good. And to know the saith the Lord. Okay, one more line. We'll just do the verse for this one so you guys can see how it works. And to know the saith the Lord. Okay, and then you'd go through and check that. Now, it seems laborious. <laughs> and if you're just starting, it can be. When I first started doing this, it would take me a very long time to make ones with slashes um, for other musicians because I'm one of those people that as long as I have the chords, I kind of can feel it. But finding the beats, it's like, okay, oh, there's one there right in the middle of the word and things like that. So it does take some time. But for those of you who don't feel it naturally, it will help you when you're practicing, okay? So I've got verse one done there. I would continue on and do all of the verses and the chorus with my marker or my pencil. That way, when you go to put it in on your screen, you're not having to worry about the typing and the spacing and all of that and finding the beats. Now I have it written down. I could use this if I wanted to. Right? If you're not having to share this with another person, it's just for your personal use. Uh, you could use like a blue pen and then just use that. Put that in your binder. Okay? So that's step number four. Write down the beats on your lyric sheet. Now the next thing, and I've alluded to this a little bit, is we kind of want to make sure that we've got groupings of things. So technically you could stop here, um, but a way to double check your work is just to make sure that you have either groups of four or groups of three. Generally, if you're looking for uh, hymns and church songs, things are going to be either in three, four time, which we've talked about on the channel, or four, four time. Sometimes they're in six, eight, but again, that's still going to work in groups of three. We haven't talked about that yet, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to look here. I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's correct, but it's a good sign that you're on the right track. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, 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 and four. So that's a very good sign, right? That we have the right thing, because we have it in groups of four. The next thing you're going to do is make sure that the beats are consistent. And I did this a little bit as we were checking it, but just do it one more time, tapping your foot or tapping your hand, and just make sure that you, you're not making some of them faster and some of them slower. So let's just go through this one more time, and then I'm going to show you how to combine it with your chords. So I'm just going to double check my work. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and to know thus saith the lord so it's good my hand stays steady it doesn't speed up and slow down the next thing we need to do is take our chord sheet to the piano and we need to figure out which times the chords are going to be on top of a slash. So you guys know on the ones that I put on the lessons, we never have a chord and a slash on top of each other. I just remove the slash and show you the letter. So that's what you're going to figure out now. So we've got tis so sweet to... Hmm, okay, so the very first one, tis is a slash, but we're also starting with a C. So just note that somehow you can circle it, you know, circle your slash and your chord together so you know that's a letter. Tis so sweet to... It doesn't sound right. And this is what happens sometimes if you go online. Sometimes the chords are correct, but they're in the wrong spot. So I'm really breaking it down today, showing you guys step by step. What do you do? So here we go. Okay, I don't like that. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to go to F there. So I'm going to stay on C until my brain says, I think F might work here. Tis so sweet to trust. Okay, 
it makes more sense on trust. So I'm just going to put, I have a slash on the word trust. I'm going to write an F on top of it and circle it. And I'll cross out that other F because it's not correct. So I have four C's and then on the word trust, I have F. So again, groups of four in this song is going to give us hints of where things are going to go properly. Tis so sweet to trust in. Now we have another C that's suggested from the Google search. Let's try it without the C. See if we do all F's if it works. If not, we'll figure out where the C goes. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. It's passable. Let's see maybe if we put the C um, two beats after, because we have a group of four there. Why don't we do F for two, C for two? Then see if that makes sense. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. To me, that sounds a little more solid than keeping it on F. So I have two Fs, and then I'm going to put a C on top of my slash there. So I have three chords on the first line. I have a C on my first slash. I have an F on my fifth slash, and I have a C on my seventh slash. And I've just written it on top of my, my pink slashes. So when I go back to the computer, I know exactly where I want to put my chords. Let's keep going. So we're on C. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. So we're still on C. And two. It says take is F. Let's try it. And two, take. Maybe? Let's try if we stay on C. And to take him. I think I prefer it all C's, so I'm going to write a C on the word and, just to remind myself that C. Uh, and then the word at. I think that's where the F goes. So we're going to try that. I'm going to write the F on that slash. And to take him at his. Okay. And then we've got a G. So. Because we're in a 4-4 song, um, things are in groups of four, generally our chords are either going to be in groups of four or groups of two. So that's why I'm automatically trying that first. So I'm going to put two Fs, so at, and then word, I'm going to put the G and see if that works. That way I have four Cs, two Fs, and two Gs. And to take him at his word. It's passable. I'm going to continue. And then we've got here C, F, and C again, just to rest upon his promise. And they look all squishy, just like the first line. So I'm going to take a guess <laughs> that we might be able to follow the same pattern as we did on the first line, um, because I think maybe when they uploaded it to the website that maybe it just compressed the chords. So let's try that. Just, I'm sorry, just to rest upon his promise. Yes, so that did work. So what I did is I did C for four beats. I'm just to rest upon. So find the slash that is pawn, upon, that's our F. And then promise is the C. So I have four C's two F's and two C's again, just like line number one. And I'll show you guys this before we put it up on the computer. Okay, let's try it from the beginning and then we'll finish up that last line. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise. Okay, very passable. Okay, could work. And then we've got an F, G, sus, G, and C. So for those of you who are just beginning, we haven't done sus chords, remember if you see numbers or letters you don't know, just cross them out. <laughs> it's probably a, an extra thing um, that you can get away with. So I'm gonna cross out the G sus. Um, and then I've got F, G, and C, okay. Just to rest upon his promise. So I'm still on C. And to know the saith the Lord. That's what my chord chart says. I don't like that. So I think, again, we probably need to spread them out. Let's figure out. So we're staying on C. And to, let's try two of them and then switch to the F. And to know, yes. 
Okay, so line four, I'm writing C at the beginning, two C's, and then the word no is where I'm going to put that F. And two, no, let's do two of those. Thus, let's see if G will work here. Sayeth the, that works. So sayeth, we're going to write the G. Sayeth the Lord is C. Okay, so again, I made an educated guess. I had eight beats. I had four chords. I said, why don't I try just doing two of each because it usually will work out that way. And it did. And to know the saith the Lord. Now, could you find a hundred different variations of this song with different chords? Yes. Could you find a bunch of different chords? People take this exact same thing and make different decisions. Yes. <laughs> so if you're working with a band, it would be good to work together. Decide on your chords together what everybody likes. Um, or you can do it straight from the hymn book, which eventually I would really like to do a series on showing you guys how to make a chord chart from a hymn book. But that's a little bit down the road. So I'm happy with that. We've got all of our chords. We've got slashes. Now, it looks a bit confusing right now. So I'm going to take you guys back to the desk. I'm going to show you what's on my page. And then I'm going to show you how to do it on the computer so that you guys can see it. Okay, so here's what I've written down over on the piano. I've got some chords circled, I still have some slashes floating, and then I've, I've crossed some of them out. All the ones that were already there, we found they weren't in the right spot. So I've written them all in again. So see this slash on beat five, I wrote F on top, that's the correct chord. Then on beat seven, I wrote C, because that's where the correct chord goes. So you can see it goes C, slash, 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 F, slash, C, slash. Now, you can notate this however you want. Um, this is just giving you an idea of something you could do. The next thing we would do is take our sheet and go over to the computer and copy it. So the word tis has a C and a slash. So we would add that in. Slash is just down by the bottom uh, where your space bar is. Then we have another slash we found on the word sweet. So we'll add that in and also on the word two. Then we have an F on top of the word trust. Now it did have a slash there as well, but we're just gonna put the F because it's a chord. Then we have another slash on the word in, and then Jesus has our C and our slash. So we would continue that pattern down the rest of the verse following what we've written on our page and just type it in on the computer. So there you go. That's a step-by-step -step process of the little details of how to take it from just the chords to finding your steady beat to adding it into your chord charts. This can help you when you're practicing. For those of you who find it hard to hear it intrinsically, then you can see exactly when to put your right hand down every time you see a chord or a slash. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have not yet joined the Facebook group, I'll put a link that, to that in the description. And I will put the original PDF, the one that we're working on right now, I'll finish that with the slashes so you can see what that would look like. I'll upload that to the group. And I'll also upload one that I have from my library. It has some minor chords and some a little bit of more fun stuff in it as well. So you can see a more maybe intermediate or upper beginner level version of this song and practice this week. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll be back live next week, 6 p.m. Friday, Mountain Standard Time. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week. Bye.